What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Series 9 rain team with Swiftstone Kingdra and Drizzle Politoed. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, the support that has been going out across the channel has been amazing. Thank you to everybody who views the videos, likes them up, and everybody who has subscribed to the channel. But getting started here, top left corner we have our heart and soul this team it's going to be our kingdra swift swim ability so we double our speed in the rain life orb for that damage boost hydro pump for stab draco meteor for stab hurricane for our coverage move and that speed boost when we dynamax and protect as our final move right next to him is going to be our weather control pokemon and the pokemon to set the rain for us and that's going to be Politoed. drizzle ability like i said choice specs as his item we have muddy water scald Ice Beam and Hydro Pump for his moveset. Middle left is going to be an Ultra Beast with Celesteela. We have Beast Boost ability, Leftovers to give it more HP, Steel and Flying type with Leech Seed, Protect, Heavy Slam, and Flamethrower. I like this Pokemon because you can actually stall out battles with them a lot. Considering we have Leftovers and Leech Seed, if I can get them both set up, I can kind of just take a turn, Protect, take a turn, Protect, and constantly get HP back at the end of every single turn. Right next to him is going to be Entei with that Inner Focus and that Shuka Berry, Sacred Fire for Zeb, Protect, Stone Edge for a coverage move, and then Extreme Speed for first turn priority. Bottom left is going to be our Assault Vest Raichu with that Lightning Rod ability to protect our Kingdra and our Politoed from electric moves. We have Fake Out, Volt Switch, Nuzzle for Paralyzes, and Thunderbolt for our stab move. Final Pokemon is going to be Rollaboom, and I feel like he's been getting a lot of spotlight in Series 9. Such a good all-around Pokemon. Great Pokemon to bring in any single battle. He has the Grassy Surge ability. This one has the Choice Band on, so we're going to be able to do a little bit more damage. Then we have Grassy Glide and Wood Hammer, both for stab, knock off, take off items, and then our coverage move is going to be High Horsepower. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto our rank double ladder, try to get some wins with this Series 9 rain team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a top of Finny team over here, alongside with Nihilego, Rhyperior, Celestial, Amoongus, and Urshifu. I'm kind of wondering who can set a Trick Room on this team. If anybody can, maybe Nihilego. Can Celestial learn it? I don't think Celestial can learn it. Because they look like a very slow team. So I'm thinking they might have Trick Room up their sleeve, but I think I'd just go in with Rain. He has no weather control. We can kind of get after it that way. I do have Hurricane if I want to go for my uh, stab move. But well, not my stab move if I, if I want to get after that Amoongus. So I'm going to go Kingdra. Get the Rain Squad rolling out here. Oh, uh, he has no lightning over here, so I'm kind of chilling here. I am going to bring Rillaboom, considering he has a lot of rock going on, and he has that, uh, that, what's it called, that Toppy Finny. Then in the final spot, do I go Celesteela? Celesteela, I could go Entei. I don't think I'd bring Entei, considering he got rain. I think Celesteela might be the better option. This is a nice little back-end Pokemon. We're all here and try to get us that victory. But guys, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite weather to use in Pokemon Sword and Shield in the online competitive scene? Uh, there you got Hail, you have Sandstorm, you have uh, Drought. You have rain, and I believe there's one more, or is that it? What did I say? I said hail, sandstorm, rain, drought. I think that's it. I think there's only four. Maybe I'm missing one, maybe I'm not. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below what is your guys' favorite. Mine, I think I got to give it to sandstorm. I really do. It's either between that one or rain, but I think sandstorm takes the cake because Exegel and Tyrantar is one of my favorite combos in all of Pokemon. I absolutely love Exegel. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. And I just love the sandstorm combo with him. It rocks out really, really strong. But we're rolling here, getting into our first battle. And guys, I got something pretty funny to tell you guys. So my flight is actually in a little bit. My family's been yelling at me. They're like, hey, yo, you got to pack and all that. I'm like, not enough. We're going to pack after we record. I got to get some recording done, get some video videos out for you guys. So they're like, hey, if you're not packed and ready to go, we're leaving without you. So maybe I might be not going on vacation. Now, nah, I'm usually a last minute person, so I'll definitely get it all done. But he's going to leave these two guys, two rock guys. Now, I'm just going to Dynamax and get after us with the... Uh, I think I'm going to take out this Nihil Lego. And then just uh, choice into a Muddy Water. So I can see this thing protecting. This thing's definitely Sash. Probably going to drop a Meteor Beam. But I'm going to drop a Muddy Water. So I'm going to say Nihil Lego Sash. And right here, you might protect. That's always an option. That is an option. Let's just see what he does. We have Swift Swim and Buzz near. I'm kind of scared. The only thing I'm scared of right here is if a Meteor Beam drops from Nihil Lego or if he Dynamaxes my period. I'm going to withdraw you. And who are you going to go into? Ooh, yeah, what a play. What a smart call. Don't tell me you're Dynamaxing. Don't you dare tell me you're Dynamaxing at my period. I kind of be a little upset. Let's see what's going on here. He's gonna, oh, he's going to double withdraw. So we get off a free little turn here. And he's going to send out. He's going to show his whole team. A Moongi Moongus. All right. That's fine. A Moongi Moongus is going to pop out here. I'm going to airstream that thing up. He's probably Koba Buried. 
Oh, but now I'm choice specced into a muddy water. Dang it. I want to be choice specced into the ice beam. I might swap at this point. We go in the celestial. I allergies act up, so I have a runny nose right now. <laughs> it really annoys me, considering I work outside too, so I get real bad allergies like in the beginning of the uh, summertime and like end of spring. But we drop max guys, we're not gonna do a lot of damage here. Top of is gonna be able to eat. Actually a lot more than I thought it would do. That's pretty nice. Not very effective. We get the rain boost, we get the stab boost, we get the life orb boost. Let me roll out with the muddy water. Choice specs, stab, rain boost, doing some nice damage. Okay, so another muddy water will take out the top of Finny. And I think I just drop a nice Actually, do I do I drop this uh airstream? Or do I no warm wind's not gonna do a lot considering there's surge, so I gotta drop the airstream. I was gonna say, do I drop the airstream considering he might be Koba buried? But yeah, gonna have to do it. Rage powder coming out here. Muddy water's gonna take out Tapu Finny, so I'm not even worried about that. Unless it misses. And you guys know sometimes muddy water misses. And there's that Koba Berry. Kinda saw that coming all day. Koba Berry is here. So, do some nice damage there. Again, a muddy water's gonna come through here and do some nice damage. And the thing is, I'm kind of hoping this Muddy Water takes out that Amoongus. But I have a feeling it's going to miss. I just have an odd feeling. Who dodged it? Who dodged it? Please be just an Amoongus. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll take out the top of Fitting there. And we have one more turn. He's probably just going to Rage Powder it again. And he's going to Dynamax whatever Pokemon he has rolling here. And I might just guard. Do I guard? But what do I do here? Actually, if it's right here, I am going to Worm one. It's gonna be Nihilego, who's gonna be special attacking. And what do I do here? I could swap Kingdra. How many turns left in ring? I mean, I think I might just airstream here. I mean, we really don't need speed, but I guess I'll airstream. Nah, no, I'll Geyser. I think Geyser takes out, and then we'll drop a Muddy Water here. I really want that attack drop, but this one's gonna be a close battle. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing the Lego. Okay. I'm actually cool. I'm I'm better with that than the what's it called. Than the Viper again, Dynamax. I like that. Didn't I bring Rillaboom? I have Rillaboom in the back, which is great. Two rock Pokemon, I can come out here with Surge, and I can go and drop some grassy glides. So I am liking that. I know nihilego has got decent speed on him. And here comes the rage powder again. That's totally fine. Guys should be able to clean this one up, no problem. And hopefully my Kingdra can eat a rock fall. If it does, we should be thriving in this battle. We should be thriving if my Kingdra can eat a rock fall. There goes Amoongus gone. It's just him and Rhyperior. We have our Celesteela in the back, which is nice. And our Robin, which is... I love having, the, having that Robin. And this thing outspeeds my Polytoad. You don't drop a rock fall on the who? On the Kingdra. Can you eat, buddy? Kingdra eats. That's a big eat for us. Because we still... Oh, no. We changed up the weather. It's a crit, too. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, Nihilego might outspeed my what's it called? And of course, my muddy water's missing all day. My muddy water's missing all day, and I might do I go for a swap and then swap again so he doesn't have weather? I don't think this is really gonna do much. I'm gonna bring out my period. I am going to have to try to get a nice hard hit on these Pokemon. Hmm. What do I do from here? Definitely have to drop muddy water. I gotta go for a hydro pump. Who do I get after? Rhyperior? Might just get after this Rhyperior. I think that's going to be play. Hopefully he doesn't protect and drop this money water. I can see him maybe going for a rock slide. He's either going for rock slide or protect. I'm going to say he's going for rock slide and we're going to double up in this thing and try to pick up KO. And I'm hoping my Kingdra at least outspeeds that Nihilogo. We are plus one on it, but we have no Swift Swim anymore. And we do not do Nihilogo too fast. Go after Polytoad. Go after Polytoad. Yes, okay, you go after Polytoad. Polytoad's able to eat up fine. We're both going to be able to outspeed that right here. Can my Hydro Pump connect? It does indeed. Let's get it. Now we just need Muddy Water connect or this might just KO. It just... Oh, this thing sashed. He sashed? What you mean? When do you ever see a right here sash? Yo, Muddy Water, I need you hitting here. Thank you. Finally. Is this thing policy? What's going on here? But he has one more turn and we still have four Pokemon. I'm loving it. Loving it. And he's not... And he's not a uh, weakness policy. I'm guessing he was what's it called? Power herb. Most of them are power herb, but I can see that thing being sash. I did not see the Viperior being sash, but we're gonna roll out here. Just gonna drop another Hydro Pump, and I'm just gonna keep choosing into my uh, my muddy water. Pretty much GG's, because I can just bring out Roll Boom next turn, drop a Grass Guide, and pick up the KO on this uh, non Dynamax. 
non Dynamax and the Lego, but yo, what was that? Going after my Politoed? Like, he's the bigger threat? Yo, we got a King Joe with Hydro Pump over here and Life Orb. He gets a Beast Boost, so he's boosting his special attack. It's over with, because this thing's going to connect. It does. Do some big damage, and I know a Grassy Guy can come out here and pick up this KO for battle number one victory. I think he was hoping for my Life Orb to take out that. Or that. There you go. Okay, so that was his plan. Alright, so I take it back. That was, that was decently smart play. But what he doesn't know is big dogs in the back. We have big dogs in the back. Got Real Boom and Celesteela coming out here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And we're starting off this first battle, or first battle for today's video, with a victory, which is awesome. Big dogs come out. I knew Real Boom was gonna be a good choice. I knew he, because he had the top of Finney and double rock. I was like, yeah, Real Boom, you gotta come in hot here. And if that Earth Fuel was water, then we would have been thriving even more. Which it might have been. I, I still can't really tell the difference just on sprites. But we're gonna roll out here. Grass God. Oh, it's not super effective, but still. I, th I think it should be, be able to do enough damage to pick up the KO. And I don't see him taking out my Celestial. Battle was canceled. There it is. GG's 1 0 to get this video started. Second battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Colossal team right here. So, pretty scary, but I think we can actually rock out with here. He also has Dragapult, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Larry Mulchers. I think the rain combo's gotta get the lead again. If we can outspeed that Colossal, we can dump on it in one turn, no problem. But I think we get these guys rolling out here. He has no weather control. He does have a fake out. She has two fake outs. I'm seeing that. I think Raichu might have to come in here. Raichu's not bad. Um, hmm. How does Jeans want to do this one? I think we bring Raichu. And Nelson will paralyze around. Uh, I think Roboom. I think we gotta bring Roboom. Maybe not Raichu. It's, it's between Entei or Celesteel, I believe. I feel like Raichu doesn't do too, too much here. Um, Celesteela. I'm trying to think what Celesteela can do. That's Steel move. We have this Fire move right here. Um, and first turn priority. Which isn't bad. And I believe we have a coverage move of Ground, right? What are we rocking with? We have a coverage move of Stone Edge. I'm digging that. I am digging that. Let's bring Entei in here. We have that Shuka Berry as well. Done with that. Because I believe that his Real Boom is going to be rocking high horsepower. So, that might come up clutch, that Berry. And pick up a W for us in the end. But this thing is, is I'm feeling like it's going to be meta. Not the swim team. Actually, I can see a King just swim team being uh, being meta. But a colossal team with this Dragapult, the Roboom, and Incineroar. I think we're going to see a lot of Roboom and Incineroar in a top tier level gameplay. I just feel like they're, they're great combos. He's going to go Urshifu and Ridley Boom. Okay, I'm fine with that. He, has, he can drop a fake out. I think I still Dynamax here and I get after an Airstream. And then do I muddy? I want a muddy water so bad, but then I don't want a choice to a muddy water. That's the thing. The surge is gonna come out here. I do not have protect. I might swap my Politoed here. Swapping Politoed might be the play. I get a speed boost. But who do I go after? I feel like Roboom's posing that threat. I the real. Mm. I think I think a Glide is gonna come out here. Then I swap here. I'm with this. I'm with swapping in the roll boom. Yeah, I'm gonna swap in the roll boom because I think a glide's gonna come across here. And if say Urshifu is sashed, we can just grass the guide on him and take him out next turn. So there's our Dynamax. We get rolling. Polito got the brain out there. We're gonna save him for the back end because he can still do a decent amount of damage with that choice specs. That's what I'm really liking about this team. Usually Politoed's holding usually the, the, the damp rock or something like that. He's really just there for rain. But this team utilizes him a little bit more. We have a choice specs on him, so we can actually do damage in the back end. So I'm liking that a lot. What's he gonna drop? Is he gonna glide? He is gonna glide, but onto ooh, onto my king drop. How dare you? How dare you? Dare you? How dare you do that? Get after search for is he sashed? He is sashed. Okay, I kinda saw that coming all day. That airstream's doing some nice damage. And the sash is going to pop out here. And what is he going for over onto Real Boom or Tinker? Did he just read my swap? Which would, which is really smart. Decently smart there. I'm going to go for a close combat. He's going to drop his defense down. Hard play. Okay, so I definitely have to grass guide onto that and then get after this Real Boom. Really Boom? Really, really Boom? Yeah. This food might protect. If he does, he does. It's totally fine. Um, and then we're just going to airstream again. Oh, I can't warm one. I think airstream... Is gonna be the play. Let's just a water one. Wow. Just a water one. We're gonna glide here. We're gonna choice into a glide, actually. Because we are choice bandit. We have cho two choice Pokemon here. Two choice keys. 
So I'm hoping this thing is not buried or anything. Because if he's not Koba buried, we should be thriving here. We should be looking decently fine. But it's kind of rare to see a, a Rillaboom buried. He can have so many different items, so chances are kind of small of this thing being Koba buried. Usually I see it with the Miracle Seed or something. You know which all are for, and what's he going to go into? Incinemore for that intimate job. Okay. I maybe want to drop a Worm Wind next turn. I think it's going to be a play. I'm special attacking on my Kingdra, but my what's called is physical, my Rillaboom. Let's just see what happens here. There's a grass guy coming out here. Leak. Bang, doing a little bit of damage onto it. We got a choice in that. Glide's gonna come out here. We're gonna be able to eat, and I'm hoping this airstream is gonna be able to pick up the KO here. We should be able to eat up another. What's going on? Ooh, don't pick up KO. We should be able to eat up another Glide. Because we are gonna get a little bit more HP back. I might swap the Roll Boom. I might swap the Roll Boom here. Do I swap him back into the Polythode? I might swap back into the Polytoad here. Or into the Entei. And drop a Worm Wind to KO this Rillaboom. Hmm. I'm minus one. I could go back into the Polytoad. Or do I save the Polytoad and go into the Entei? Because I could go into the Entei slot thinking he might go for a fire move. What do I want to do here? I think I'm going to get out Polytoad here. Considering we have two turns left in rain after this one. I'm gonna swap back into Polito, get my plus one back, and we are going to take out the roll boom here. Oh, oh no, that's our roll boom swapping. I thought his roll boom was swapping. We're gonna be able to take out the roll boom. I'm thinking we are, and then get that attack drop onto that instant or Grassy guy comes out here. We survive with a free focus sash. Free focus sash here. Worm wind comes out. Life orb's going to KO us, but more importantly, we pick up this KO onto that roll boom, and we get that attack drop on that instant or Okay, cool. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. So it's a two v three. He still has a Dynamax. And Incineroar is minus one. Alright, I'm with that. Um, do I know his last Pokemon? Get a parting shot. Hey! 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 What do you mean? He's not minus one anymore. Okay, uh, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. I'm not even gonna lie. That's decently big for him. He's gonna be able, be able to get off an Intimidate here. Moltres come. Okay, so Moltres is your final mod. You have Stone Edge. He's gonna Dynamax. I think that's gonna be game, man. That's looking real tough. Ultras is such a big threat here. Such a big threat. Entei's gonna come out here. Entei might be physical. Is, is he physical? You saw. Oh, he still has Urshifu, man. I honestly forgot about that. I'm just gonna extreme speed. Do I do a choice to a Hydro Pump? Yeah. Yeah, we're choosing into a Hydro Pump. <laughs> we have rain for, uh, what is it, two more turns? I think two more turns, and I think Polyhead's is going to be dead by that time. Oh, this one's going to be tough, but this is a solid battle. I totally forgot he swapped the Earth food with, like, one HP. Comes out in the back end. We will be able to extreme speed it and take it out. But I think this Dynamax is going to be able to win him this game. The guy Brill Boom in the back, but he does have Incineroar. Incineroar has that Intimidate, and he's super effective up against me. I do have high force power. I'm choice. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough news. And maybe we can eat up a flare. We'll see. Here's where he comes out here. Say see you later to you. Get rid of Urshfu and hopefully this muddy or hydro pump connects and get some damage off before this thing actually starts taking me out. Here's an airstream. Can you eat up Holly? You're going after Entei. Entei ends up eating, which I dig. I dig it. He's getting speed boost all day. I didn't want to hit it with an ice cream because I could see this thing being policy. Hydro pump comes out here. Alright, not bad damage. I dig it. I'm digging it, but it's not looking good in, in our favor. I knew this battle was going to be a little tough. Larry Moltres is a beast, and he has a Dynamax over top of us right now. Sinora coming out here. I hate you, Sinora. I hate you. He's going to fake me out. It's an obvious play. And do I just drop a heavy Stone Edge? Definitely going to try to kill my Polythode here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Stone Edge over onto Incineroar. I'm gonna double up an instant or I get rid of this thing. Polytoad's I'm thinking dead here. I think he's gonna fake out. He's faking out. Oh, you fake out my anti, okay. I'm gonna go for a darkness. Love a little darkness and go after Polytoad. Can we eat? Polytoad's able to eat. So you're saying there's a chance. Here's my special defense drop. Polytoad, wipe this thing with hydro pump. Wipe him. Wipe him. Doom dirty. Oh, Stone Edge is coming out. Oh, we're inner focus. 
We are in our focus. We are in our focus. I totally forgot about that. Yes, sir. Yo, hydro pump. I need you connecting here. Come on. Polytoad, do him dirty. Hydro pump comes out. Let's go, Polytoad. Let's go, Polytoad. Toy Specs Polytoad clutching up. Incineroar gone. Coming down to this now. Ooh, he does have Fiery Wrath. Rain stops. Oh, all right. There's one more turn in Dynamax. Um, still got to go for Hydro Pump, and we do have Stone Edge here. He is, do I think he's going to go after Entei? Hmm. But I think he's going to go after Entei. He does have air moves on me. Don't worry. Tech won't do anything. I think we just drop an extreme speed. Try to do as much damage as I can, and we Hydro Pump. I think he's going to go after Entei. That's what. That's my thought. My thought process here. Extreme Speed comes out here. So he might as well do a little bit of damage. He is going to Berserk. And I don't want to proc that policy. Let's see what he's going to do here. Going after. Going after Entei. Show me he's going after Entei. He is. Okay, so good call for me to go into that Extreme Speed. Get a little bit of damage before we do roll out here. And if this Hydro Pump connects, I think we have a win in the bag. Oh, Hydro Pump. Need you. Three times in a row. Does connect. It does connect. Yo, let's go. Get my rule boom that we saved for the back end by swapping him in for Polytoad. And we got this win, baby. We got this win. It wasn't looking good. Inner focus Entei coming in clutch here. Inner swap. We played this one decently well. Like middle match was like, oh, I don't know, dude. This Moltres is going to be able to roll out. We were able to eat up shots. Inner focus definitely clutched up so we can get off that stone edge. And then Hydro Pump came in and uh, picked up the KO. That was awesome. That was awesome. We get Grass Guy rolling here. This should KO, I'm thinking. If not, he has to deal with Polytoad. And we are still Hydro Pump. And I'm surprised we haven't missed a Hydro Pump yet. Surprised we haven't missed one. But, yo, knock on wood. Knocking on wood right now. But I'm thinking Grass Guy should be able to do enough damage here, even though it's not very effective with the Choice Band. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. 2 and 0. Oh. Your boy's on a heater right now. We get going with back to back wins. Your boy's tearing it up with this team right now. We're sitting at 2-0, looking for that perfect record in our third and final battle. We're going up against a Cantonian Zapdos team alongside with Regilecki, Grimmsnarl, Urshifu, Thunderous, and Lander. So we just have that Intimidate. I feel like I feel like the rain combo has just got to come in here, right? I feel like we got to go rain combo, bring Raichu in the back here for that Lightning Rock. Considering he has two pretty strong uh, electric Pokemon. And then in the final spot... Do I go? Who do I rock out here in the final spot? I'm thinking Roboom. Like, Roboom's just type nice. He has three electric Pokemon now that I think about it. I'm going Roboom. Let's rock out here. Let's get that 3 0 record. We're going for it. Your boy's on a heater right now. We're playing really, really well today. 2 0. It's actually working out perfectly for me. Everything's working out great for me. But like I said in battle number one, I still got a pack and everything. My fight is today. By the time I'm recording this, this video is probably going up like. A week or later in the week from when I'm recording it because I have a couple videos ready for you guys to go so when I'm on vacation you guys get some content but I just think it's so funny I still got a lot to do I'm last minute all the time but I always get my stuff done but I still got a pack like right after I get done this I'm gonna edit it real quick let it render out while it's rendering I'm gonna get packing once it's done rendering I'm gonna export it into a certain file to upload it to YouTube and I'm gonna get back packing again and just be rushing around left and right but still, I really want to record for you guys today and get an extra video, guys, or out for you guys while I'm on vacay. But he does go with the double electric. Let's swap. Let's do a swap, skis. He is defiant, so I gotta watch out for that. And I feel like what's called is posing a bigger threat. I don't know why. I feel like Thunderous is posing a bigger threat because he is defiant and all that stuff. So I am gonna swap into my lovely little Raichu here. And I do have a fake out as well. Oh, come on, yo. Do your electric moves. Do it. I dare you. I dare you to run that electric moves. But he's like, oh, yes, Rain, I'm going to just throw double electric Pokemon out here. I'm going to say, hey, forgot about that Raichu in the back end. Say, hey, there you go. Let's see what he does. Kind of confused with what he does. Hopefully he drops double electric and we get double special attack boost. Then I can just fake out the next Pokemon. And we can roll from there because this Max Geyser should be able to take out, out Thunders. If not, it's going to put it close. It should put it close. Or even pick up the KO. If he doesn't die in Max, it. That's, that, that's the real thing. If he doesn't Dynamax, I think we got the KO in the bag. We got Life Orb Stab, Brain Damage. It's rolling out strong. So let's see. What you got here? Dynamax coming out. Show me the bird. Show me the bird. Fingers crossed. Actually, I really don't care who it is. But I'd rather have the bird. Let's see. Probably Thunderous, right? This Thunder. So we are getting after him. Show me some lightning. Show me a Max Lightning coming after my Polytoon or whatever you want. 
see what he does. Or does he make the hard read? Let's see his play. There's my lovely little geyser. So we know we have speed advantage. We didn't. I would rather go for the Wormwind, but he is uh, defiant. That is some big damage, baby. He goes for the airstream. That is some big damage. Because after Raichu, Raichu was able to eat. Lovely. And I think I might just fake out onto Landers. I'm not even lying. Or not Landers, Thunders. Let's see what he goes for here. Is he doubling up into my Raichu slot? Don't double up into my Raichu slot. He does. That buttery biscuit. That buttery biscuit. Alright, I see you. I see you. I see you. You make me bring out Roboom. Bringing out Roboom. Need that first turn priority here because he might outspeed me. I'm going to get after that, that bird. I'm going to get after that bird. I'm going to say, hey, bird, get out of my face. I'm going to glide onto that thing. Take out Defiant, Thunderous, and his Dynamax Pokemon. And then I'm going to get after this bird. I'm liking where we're sitting. I'm loving it. So not a bad swap. We, we, we posed that threat, which was good considering uh, we kept our King Joy alive a little bit longer. But do I go for a Wormwin? No, he's Hurricane. Hurricane is special attacking, so Wormwin's going to do nothing. I'm just going to lie. I'm just going to use a lovely little glide here because this thing got a free Focus Ash. We did get a free Focus Ash last game, too. He does guard. I had to pose that threat on that thing. Guys, guys can come out here and block it. Okay, cool. I really don't care. I'm going to try to get off another Hurricane here. He does outspeed me. Can we eat that? We should be able to eat that, right? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Big guard from him. We do take him out. But dude, he gets another turn here. He gets another Dynamax turn. He outspeeds me. He outspeeds me now, right? I thought he was going to come out here. Actually, he probably doesn't outspeed my, uh. My what's it called? My Kingdra. He goes Vegelet. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, who do I gotta get after here? I gotta get after this Regilecki. Might be sashed. But Fine Thunder's just gonna go down the life orb. I think I just go in with a scald here. Instead of a hydro pump. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. I think he's gonna go for a lightning over onto uh Kingdra. I oh, know he thunder cages me. He's getting after me. Gonna me. And lightning's gonna come through it and he's going after Polytoad. Polytoad's dead. Polytoad dies. Thunderous dies. Hopefully we can pick up this KO and Regilecki dies, but he might be sad. Oh my lord, yo, this battle was nuts. I was like, I like where we're sitting. He guards, one taps my real boom, gets off another turn here, and now it's just Kingdra versus the world. If Kingdra can actually pick up this KO onto this Regilecki, I think we should be fine here. Because that'll be all three of his electric mons out of here. Let's see. Geyser comes out of here, but I can see this thing being Sash. Let's see. Let's see it. What is, what's he rocking? Of course he's rocking his Sash. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's GG's now. <laughs> I think it's GG's just because he had that Sash. I don't have any double hitting moves. Thunder Cage is hurting me. That's such a good move. Such a good move. But he did play that one really well. He did really play that well by us. Bopping and hitting all my Raichu. Intimidate comes out from the Landers. Uh, we should be able to one tap the Landers, but still. Hmm. But it's like he still outspeeds my Kingdra, which is pretty nutty. I'm gonna drop a Hydro Pump. Just take out this thing if we can. And maybe this thing misses. Regilecki misses. Maybe something happens. I don't know. E Web coming down here. Slowing me down. Hey! Chill on me, man. And that, oh, ooh, that's game. Thunder Cage is just gonna pick up KO. We still outspeed. I think Fly is gonna come out here. He dips out. He's gonna pick up that win. We go two and one for today's video. Absolutely love this team. Dominate those first two battles. But this one was just a little bit tougher. He played that one decently well. He had those, uh, that electric advantage, and we just didn't play it right. We swapped our Raichu a little too early, and he made that read and picked up that W. Kingdra and Polito combo is still top tier in my opinion. It is really, really strong as we showed in today's video. The first two battles we dominated and the third battle we ended up losing, but I feel like if I would have played that different, we could have won that battle. But Series 9 did revive it a little bit considering restricted mods were overpowering, but I think these Pokemon are back and better than ever, and you can use them on high level Master Ball tier to push those ranks. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.